Colin's time to bake. Baking with the Bake Off. This week we're making Paul Hollywood's baguettes as they did in the technical challenge for bread week. Now, this week I'm actually in Florida, so this kitchen looks a little bit different to what I normally work in. Um, this just also means that I have a lot less utensils and have to wing it. You'll see in a second what I mean. So, they used something called a linen couche. Um, I'm just going to see if I can get one using magic. Yep, nope, I don't think that's what we're looking for. It's less linen couche, more linen couch. Try this again. Ah, there we go. It's more like just linen. I think it needs a few more starts than this, but this is all I can get, so yeah, we'll wing it. I'm actually being joined today by a very special guest. It's my mother-in-law, Jo. Let's bring Jo out, shall we? One, two, three. Hello, Jo. So, we're going to be making... Magical. Isn't it? We're going to be making the technical bake today. How do you feel about that? Got me arm ready. Got it, yeah. <laughs> Maybe the wings. <laughs> Great. Let's give it a start then, shall we? First off, we need to put 500 grams of bread flour into the bowl or a pan, if that's what we're using today. Then add 10 grams of yeast and 10 grams of salt. Finally, get 370 milliliters of water and gradually add in one third, mixing in the dough and then gradually adding the rest until it reaches sloppy mess, as mine has turned out to be. If you're using an electric mixer with dough hooks, then this won't take long to turn it around and turn it into a nice elasticated dough, or in the case of Joe and I, about half an hour to 40 minutes using our hands and therefore making us exhausted. But we managed, we turned it from a sloppy mess into a slightly more elasticated together dough. You want to turn your dough into your square Tupperware boxes? The recipe says it has to be square, I'm not entirely sure why, but it does. Make sure it's light with olive oil. Leave this for an hour to prove. Once it's proved for the hour, tip onto a floured surface, and cut this into quarters, each quarter becomes your baguette. You want to make sure you roll this into a sausage, tucking the uh, crease underneath. Put this into your linen couche, this is where this comes in. You'll want to put the first one down and then fold it up and so it reaches like a U shape, like a divot or a crease. Then put the next one along and fold up again. You'll want to make sure that they're all in a line together, so it's like a concertina fan effect with each of the sausages of baguette in between each one. Cover with a tea towel and prove this for yet another hour. While this is proving, preheat your oven to 240 degrees or 220 degrees as a fan. Also, boil your kettle. You'll need either a Pyrex dish or a separate roasting tray because you're going to put some water in to create steam. Put the boiled water into a Pyrex dish or your roasting tray and make sure that you put this on the bottom shelf. Once your baguettes have proved, you'll want to score four diagonal lines on them and then take them out of the linen couche. You'll have to work very quickly while you do this because they will start to lose their rise. Because mine have um, started to get flat and I've probably ended up making flatbread or possibly even breadsticks. Put it into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes or in my case 10 to 15 because they're ridiculously thin. I think I've made flatbread. Take out and put onto a wire rack to cool and then it's time to eat. We're uh, going to split this and <laughs> see what it tastes like. Well, it's definitely crisp on the outside. Uh, it's just so flat. <laughs> oh well. It's nice. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Exactly. Yep. So this is the second lot. Uh, see how they were turned out. Oh, well, that's hot. Oh, steamy. Um, a little bit better, a little less like breadsticks. So there you have it. Um, baguettes, I think. Yeah, not very successful this week. However, I am in a completely different kitchen using completely different things, but you know, Bad Baker blames his too. Safe to say, I probably wouldn't have done very well in the technical challenge today because I'm fairly certain I've either made flatbread or breadsticks. But, eh, what you gonna do? Things that I have learned are, don't use too much water. I think I put a bit too much water in there. Make sure when it's proved that you put it straight into the oven, you've got to work really quickly to put it straight into the oven, otherwise it's going to get really flat and become flatbread, like mine did. Uh, also, don't make them ridiculously long, like I think some of mine were, and it became breadsticks. So yeah, these are some things that I've learned, and if I was to make them again, I'd probably do them a bit better. Well, I think I'd make them a bit better. We'll see. On the plus side, have I got a linen couche? Thank you very much for joining me. If you'd like to follow me on social media, it's all just here. And don't forget to click subscribe if you like what you see. I'll be trying to do all the technical bakes. I've already done the first three now, so the next week's one I believe is meringue cake. So that'll be fun. Let's see how I got on with that. My name is Colin. My name is Joe. This is Colin's Time to Bake. Thank you very much and we'll see you soon. <laughs>